guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and I found quite a few new goodies and I found some wish list items so I was super happy about that um, let's just do some of my other these are kind of typical buys for me um, one of them is the 140 count um, paper towels and it says 140 sheets and it's because it's the custom size ones so I love them. They work great. Um, needed some more aluminum foil. So I picked up the Reynolds Wrap. I prefer it over the cheaper stuff, even though I know you get more. Um, picked up a couple packages of the paper plates. There is 15 of them in here, and they're the 8.6 inch. So I got two of those. Got some more kitty treats. And I got two packages of these. It's the chandelier bulbs. My uh, ceiling fan in my bedroom takes these, and I've got a couple bulbs that are out. So pick those up, and then, you know, I have to pick up the Wonder Giant loaf whenever Dollar Tree has it. So super ha <clears throat> happy. I've been very pleased they've been having it mm, pretty much every week for quite some time now. So, okay. On to some other goodies. Uh, this really isn't new. Uh, they had it up with the like stocking stuffer kind of toys. This is uh, for my nephew. It's 0. 0.5, no, 1.86 ounces. It's the Poodoo. It's like slime. So, got that for him. I thought he would get a kick out of that. This was over there as well. This is for him. It's, um, penguin Trap. Some kind of a little game. And there's the back of it. I thought he would have fun with that. And then again, there with the, the like stocking stuffer type toys. This is a puzzle ball. And I'm not sure exactly how, you know, how you do it. I'm guessing it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube sort of thing, but I don't know. I thought it was cute. I thought he would have fun with it. He's always liked stuff like that. And then, got this. I'm not sure which one of my nieces or nephews I'm going to give this to yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I thought it was pretty cool. It's called Scratch Art. It's for ages 6 and up. There's 50 sheets and one stick. <clears throat> and it's the little, the black pages that are colored underneath. And you take the little stick and, you know, when you write on it, the, the color comes through and everything. So, there's 50 sheets and the little stick in here. It's It's a heavy little box. So found that. Not sure which one of the kids is getting that. Okay, let's see here. Um, had to pick me up some new reading glasses, and I've not seen this before. It came with a little case. So, I picked me up some new reading glasses. I, my other ones had, you know, they were, had broken, but I've lost them now, too. I don't know what the heck I did with them, so picked me up a new pair of reading glasses those down in there um I'm not sure how new this is I think I think they've had it for a while but I mean I know this they have picked this up for my mother-in-law it's one of the pot holders put your hand in here and it's got the like neoprene on the back of it so that's for part of her Christmas um, then I picked up a two pack of these washcloths. It's got the scrubby on the bottom side of it and it has the, it's really hard to, to tell, it's got the, the hens on it I do believe and then the matching towel that goes with it is this one. So cute. So those are for my mother-in-law, mother-in-law, well sort of mother-in-law for part of her Christmas and let's see I found some more socks. They've had this one for a little while, and I went ahead and picked it up because they got some more in. This will go to one of my nephews. Got the guitars on it. So cute. And then this one I had not seen before. This will go to one of my nephews as well. It's got the alien and the spaceship and the, and the planets and stuff. I thought they were really, really cute. So those will go to one of them. And they had some new rugs. They had it in, they had an olive green, 
I want to say like a black, but I picked up this one. It is 16 inch by 24 inch. So it is it's pretty big. If you can see, and then it's got the little the little fringe pieces on the edge of it. So this is going to go underneath my little coffee table end table thing that you guys are actually sitting on because one of my dogs likes to lay underneath there. So I got that for him to lay on. But those are really good quality. And you know, for a dollar, you all know how much the little throw rugs are. They're crazy expensive. Okay, now on to some new new stuff. Wish list items. They had this one. Ah! They had the little camper finally with the little tree. I was so excited. They did not have the truck, but they did have this, so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm hoping maybe next week they'll have the truck in. But if not, that's okay too, because Tony was so sweet and sent me a truck. Okay, keeping on the little red truck thing for a minute here, they got in some of the garland. You guys can see that. You see, it's got the little red truck on it. It's so cute. It's the nine foot of the garland. It is so stinking cute. They had it. They had green garland with it on there too, but I just, I think they stand out so much better on the white. So I picked it up. Very, very excited to find that. Um, Let's see. A couple more little Christmas type goodies here. I found some candle holders, I guess you could call them. I'm using them for whatever. But here's this one. It's got the beautiful deer and the trees. So, so beautiful. And it is, I mean, it's, it's pretty good size, so whoop, trying to break it. And then this is the other one that they have. Got the cute little gold snowflakes on it. Normally I don't like the gold, but this is like a almost like a bronzed kind of gold. It's really, really pretty and I mean almost kind of vintagey like looking. So look for those. Those are so cute. And sticking with the candle theme, I found there was actually four of them. I only picked up the three. Um, that fourth one, I think it was Energize was the name of it and I just didn't I didn't like it um, these are by ESTD aromatherapy and this one is stress relief it is eucalyptus and peppermint and it's the you know just single wick little mason type jar it smells honestly it kind of reminds me of mixture between Vix Rub and someone who's got a massive amount of Vix Rub on their chest chewing some potent spearmint gum. That's what it smells like. It actually smells pretty good. I know, it sounds weird, but that's what it smells like. Um, the other one that I picked up was the Positivity. It's grapefruit and bergamot. And again, just a single wick. And this one... It smells a little like Fruit Loops. That's what I, it's the closest thing as I can think of. It smells like Fruit Loops. Okay, and then the last one that I picked up is Sleep. It is lavender and vanilla. And again, single wick. And you can, you can definitely smell the lavender and the vanilla both in it. It smells, smells pretty good, so. I thought, you know, I, I don't really do much of the aromatherapy kind of stuff, but I thought it would be good for me to try since I've been having so much trouble with my anxiety and stuff. Okay, these are Greenbrier products, guys. So, but they smell really good. They definitely have a much stronger scent than some of the other candles that have been coming out. So, okay, uh, just a few more things here. This is another thing on my wish list. It, I know y'all are going to laugh at me when you see this. Um, it's called Hurry Clean. It's an automatic automatic toilet and tank cleaner. So, there it is. 
And it's got three power packets in it. And that's how it's used. So everybody's told it gets nasty. Even if you clean them, they start to get a little stained up. So I thought with our hard water that we have out here in the country, I thought, you know what? We'll give it a try. See if it works. Okay. Um, normally, I do not buy books. I honestly cannot say that I have ever bought an, an actual book from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> But I did find a couple of them today that sounded good to me. So the first one I got is called Vanished by E.E. E. Cooper. It says, keep your friends close. And then, you know, it's got the dot, 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 dots. I'm assuming keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So there's the little thing on the back of it. I do not, it says bestsellers. Don't know how much it was, you know, originally or anything. So we're gonna gonna give this a read and see see how good it is. And then the other one I picked up. And normally I don't read her books like this. Um, my mom definitely does, but I picked this one up. It's by Danielle Steele. She's an amazing author. Uh, my mom's been reading her books for years. It, this one is called Power Play. So, and you can see it was $4.49 at Bargain Books, wherever that's at. So, um, I don't know. I'm hoping it will it will be good. Okay, USA, $28 is what it was normally. But there's the little, little excerpt from it. So, give that a read and see what it's like. All right. Last few goodies here. Um, let's see. This was on an end cap. Trying to think. Um, kind of towards the back of the store is where I found this at. Um, where my store tends to put the Bolero stuff out. They had four different kinds all together, I believe it was. I picked this one up. This is the Wild and In Love. It's a glitter perfume and a glitter body lotion. So, I'm not sure what the notes are on it, you know, or anything. It smelled pretty good, so picked it up. I don't know. It'll go in one of my niece's little bags. Let's see if I can get the, get the glitter to, you can see it kind of filtering around in, the, in that. So, cute little stocking stuffer or gift basket filler, whatever. Um, I found these two up by the register. I was so excited to find these. I have not seen anybody haul them. They are beautiful. I found two new makeup bags. I know, right, guys? Like I need more makeup bags. What do I need them for? I don't know. I just like them. But anyways, here's this pink one, and it's got the gold marble swirls on it. Zips at the top. There is the inside. And the outside, this is actually like like a pleather kind of stuff so it's I mean it's really nice and same thing with this one but you get it in a beautiful teal Kathy from No Guts No Glory would love this one too bad it's not silver instead of the gold right Kathy um, but yeah it's the same thing it's the nice like pleather same inside so awesome now this I was so surprised to find this Never seen anything even remotely close to it at my Dollar Tree. It was actually still in the box that it was shipped in, but somebody else had already opened it. So, you know, I just went ahead and opened it up and looked too, and I ended up getting something um, out of it, and I'm glad I did open it up. Dollar Tree's going to have, hopefully everybody's store will have it soon, some fashion jewelry, and this is the one that I picked up. It's six earrings. You got, you know, a pair of the little bit smaller hoops. And then these are like a, I don't know what you hear. Let me, let me take them out of the package. These are mine. These are not going anywhere as a gift. I wanted these. So, <laughs> there you go. You got these smaller ones here. And then kind of a medium, more medium size. And then a little bit bigger hoops. I'll put it up to my ear so you can kind of see. 
how big it is. I thought they were pretty. I haven't had hoops in God knows how long. So I was very excited to find these. They had, like I said, they had all kinds of different ones. I'm hoping they'll have them still when I go back next week. Um, because there was a couple of other designs um, that I did want to get. But I thought, you know what, let's just get one for now. Um, of course, you know, they're pretty lightweight. You know, I'm sure they're just almost like a like a plastic or something. But, let's see. Uh, they're distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories. So, it is not a Greenbrier product. So, be watching for these. They got, you know, I think it had a couple of different sets of the hoops like this. And then some other just, you know, single ones and stuff. So, be watching for those. Those make great little, little gift basket fillers or secret Santa swap things. All that kind of stuff. So, that is my haul for today. Um, I did do a little bit of Black Friday shopping, so I will have that video coming to you. I didn't do a lot, um, because it was late when we got in <clears throat> to, uh, to town to do that. But I did manage to pick up a few things and get a little more Christmas shopping done. So, I will show that to you guys, and, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Remember to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. <clears throat> Excuse me. On your way out. If you don't mind, that would be super great, and I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.